Hello and welcome to Children's Time. It's good to be with you again this week. This week we're going to talk a little bit about the importance of you all, the importance of kids in our faith, why it is that we share our stories of the Bible and of our faith with children, why you're included in our worship services. And to do that, we're going to take a look at Psalm 78. The book of Psalms is in our Old Testament, in our Bibles. The book of Psalms is filled with poems and prayers and hymns, so songs, to God. And these songs, these prayers, are filled with all sorts of feelings. And the Psalms have different prayers and songs for all sorts of things, all sorts of ways that we might feel, all sorts of questions that we have for God. Um, sometimes the Psalms are directed toward God. And sometimes the Psalms are directed towards God's people. They help us to learn who God is and about our relationship with God. And so the Psalm we're going to take a look at today is Psalm 78. And we're going to read verses 1 through 7. My people, listen to my teaching. Pay attention to what I say. I will open my mouth and tell a story. I will speak about things that were hidden. They happened a long time ago. We have heard about them and we know them. Our people who lived before us have told us about them. We won't hide them from our children. We will tell them to those who live after us. We will tell them what the Lord has done that is worthy of praise. We will talk about God's power and the wonderful things God has done. The Lord gave laws to the people of Jacob. God gave Israel their law. The Lord commanded our people who lived before us to teach God's laws to their children. Then those born later would know God's laws. Even their children yet to come would know them. And in turn, they would tell their children. They would put their trust in God. They would not forget what God had done. They would obey the Lord's commands. We hear in this psalm that God tells us that we are supposed to tell the stories of the Bible the laws and teachings of God and Jesus to children. You all, as children, are the future of our church, of our faith. And we want you to know that you're special and that God loves and cares about you so much that God says that adults should teach kids these the teachings and the stories of our Bible and of our faith to kids, even from the very beginning, from when they're really little children. This way, you all get to grow up knowing these stories, knowing that you are a loved child of God, knowing that God cares for you and God has a special place for you in the family of God. And when we can include you in our worship services, when we can include you in everything the church does, it makes the family of God stronger. So I want you all to know that today, that you're special, that you're loved very much by God and by the whole family of God, and that we're all brought together in this family through Jesus no matter who we are or where we are. Will you pray with me? Dear God, thank you that we're special. Thank you that we're included in your family. Thank you that you love us. Help us to learn and pass on your stories to those who come after us. Amen. Well, thank you all for being with me today, and I will see you again next week on Children's Time.